Proverbs 24, verse 14. Know also that wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the junk room where we create whatever. Proverbs says that wisdom is sweet to our souls, and I am asking for some wisdom today. Something a little different on my uh, junk room table. It is Create and Keep Event Kit for May 2022. It's called The Cake. For short. And this is from a junk journal group that I belong to on Facebook. Here are the instructions. Make a masculine card using the items you find in this envelope. I don't think I've done very many masculine things, so this will be a little challenge for me. Two, you don't have to use all the items included, but try to use as many as you can. Three, you may add items from your personal stash as you like. Four, you are when you are finished, please post a photo of your finished card in the photo album created in the group with the picture of the kit you received on it. And finally, number five, you must post your completed card by June 14th or you will be unable to join the next event. Thank you for joining the fun. This kit is from Sandy this month. Wow. Okay. Ready to see what's in this kit? I already took it out of the envelope. <laughs> Here is the card base that I am using, that I have to use. So this was sent and this is the base. Okay. There's also this beautiful green embossed card. I don't know if you can see that, but it's beautiful texture. This, well, what, what do you call this? It's not thread, twine. There we go, twine. I have to use this. I have a couple of items here. So a tag and a couple of pieces of femra there. I have to include one of a kind. And this fella here, and I don't often, I don't even think I've ever worked with any Tim Holtz people. I think that's where he might be from, or maybe a digi digikit, I'm not sure. I got to use him somewhere. And then the kit sent me these two gears, and I happen to love gears, so I added one from my stash. So those are the items that I have to use. And I've been mulling this over, thinking about it. And I think I have a plan. Now, the thing about this, though, is if I make a mistake, <laughs> I don't have any of these items in my stash because these items came from somebody else. So I've been thinking about this. This piece here. I want to see if I can add a little bit of gold to the top of the embossed pieces, just a little bit. Okay, I, I hope this works the way I imagine it, because I can't replace this. Okay, I think I think I could be a little bit braver. So I'm using a dry whoa. I'm using a dry brush. I took this size, I cut a piece of paper down and because I want it a little like this, I think, because once I tear it, 
<laughs> it's done. I want to add a piece of this underneath. So let's start with this and see what that looks like. Hmm, I can't decide if I want that there or not. Let's try something with this paper first. I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm, I'm concentrating. I'm, I'm very focused, so I'm not, not very chatty. So gluing, look, I can talk while I glue. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great day. It's, uh, as I'm filming this, it's cloudy and a little cool here in St. Thomas. Now, to find my pokey tool. Because I want to poke holes. So I've poked my holes and this has, the twine has three strands in it. So I'm actually going to take it apart to make sure that I have enough for what I want to do. I'm going to use some double sided tape to just make sure these guys don't come up through the front. Yeah. Oh, I, I like it. Definitely want these on the front. And because it is on the embossing, I'm going to need to clamp these down. 
Okay, I'm going to leave the front for a minute and tackle the inside of my card. Now, I would, I think, I get, I get to keep this, so I'm going to use it in a junk journal. So I'm thinking it will be like a page in my signature. And I want to bring this paper to the inside. This is just some material that I had that I coffee dyed. I'm just switching glue for the fabric piece to tacky glue. I tried the fabric, was it fabric fusion? No, I tried Fabri-Tac for the first time the other day and oh my goodness, it smelt so bad. I'm like, I'm never using this again. Fabri-Tac, if you have allergies or are scent sensitive, I don't recommend it. And I think I want to stamp some text on the card. Missing spots. In this part for the front cover, um, I want to make a side pocket, but with the twine, I'm afraid it might catch. Just going to back an index card, but there won't be any itty bitty catching.
let's see what we got here. So I do want to add a teeny tiny, like a teeny tiny tag in here. I keep wanting to do that. Just make one, cut this down and see what happens. I have to lose a number or two. And then the inside created some, <laughs> not quite dry in there yet. And then the, and then the tag. I think the tag needs some, just some something, something. And I think I want to add an, just an, another little bit of interest with what a, some black paint. Just some, just a little something, something, I think. And I don't want to put splatter on his face. Getting carried away. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've used everything. Let's recap. Masculine cart. Using the items in the kit. Yes. Check. I don't have to use them all, but I did. I used I used every every piece, um, and I added a couple things from my personal stash. And now I have to let this dry and take a picture of it. Piece a cake. Well, <laughs> not really, but I think I succeeded. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.